This is a system of equations that I'm going to use substitution to solve. Um, I have a previous video that shows what to do if you have two that are in two equations that are both in slope intercept. I have a video that shows uh, one in slope intercept and one in standard. Here's just kind of a random situation where I have um, an equation where x is solved for and then the other equation is just kind of random, it's not specific. So <clears throat> first thing I'm gonna to try to have you recognize is that if I know x is the same as this other expression here, anywhere there's an x in the other equation, I can replace it with that expression. So what I like to do is I like to take the, um, the equation and write it out with parentheses wherever there's uh, the variable that I'm going to sub out. So since I'm subbing out the x, this x is now this set of parentheses, and this x is this other set of parentheses. <clears throat> so once I have that set up, then I can take my expression, 9y minus 1, and put it into both of those uh, parentheses. I'm going to follow through uh, with my solving skills. I'm just going to First, distribute that 2. Uh, I don't really need the parentheses on the other side. I'm going to look for some terms to combine. Here, it's the y, so I get 25y minus 2. On the other side, it's the negative 1 and the 31. So we get 9y plus 30. Um, I have variables on both sides. Um, I, I really like to take care of this all at the same time. I'm going to subtract 9y, but also add 2. So if I have 25y minus 9y, there's 16y. The 2's cancel. 9y's cancel. I get 32. Well, I like where this is going. If I divide by 16, I get y equals 2. Now, once I have y equals 2, I'm going to go back to my two original equations. And I'm going to plug those in. So x equals 9y minus 1. x equals 9 times 2 minus 1, which is 18 minus 1, or 17. So according to, if, if y is 2, then I think x is 17. And one of the benefits of solving a system in general is that you really should be able to figure out if you have the right answer or not by plugging it in to the remaining equation. So I, I think 17 comma 2 is my answer. So now I'm going to finish it off by substituting 17 in for both of my x's and a 2 in for that y. Let's see if it's a true statement. If it is, then I know that I'm good to go. Uh, 17 plus 31. There's 14. That's 34. So this left side of the equation is 48, and the right side of the equation is 48. That is a true statement. So that means that 17, 2 is the solution to that system of equations.